Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler video series videos that we do for a little while. I'll go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. Hoping to try out a soda with the soul of a champion. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food in or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside the truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, wearing super cool shirts, I always like to highlight a super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom, it's my cold shirt. Specifically from their Broken Human Tour back in 2019. This was actually a super fucking cool tour for me personally. Uh, it was the first time that Cold had been on tour in almost a decade. It was my first time ever getting to see them live. It was one of those things, like, if you're unfamiliar, Cold's a band that's been around since, like, the, like the mid-90s. Um, you know, they've kind of changed up styles over the years. I got into them when they were, like, firmly in their new metal phase uh, during their, like, 13 Ways to Bleed on Stage era. And... I, I enjoyed their stuff, but they were always kind of like a third-tier band for me as far as, like, bands that I was really into. Like, I liked certain songs, you know, but I wasn't, like, super into them. I just... that kind of thing. Uh, you know, but then when I saw, okay, they're going to be coming back around, you know, it's the first time they've been on a tour for a while, I was like, oh, okay, you know. And it was one of those things where after I left their performance, I was, like, instantly, like, 20 times bigger fan. Like, they put on phenomenal live shows... I've enjoyed getting to see them every time that I've done so since then. Uh, and subsequently, I have videos of performances of all the times that I've gone to see them. Just in case you're interested, those videos are also on this channel. I'm just saying. But anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Why did I... Something about a champion. Boom! It's Champs Cola! Can we get a thing? It'd be better over here. I don't know. Uh... Uh, ah, ah, ha, 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 ha. Sure. So it's Champs Cola. Uh, I looked this one up a little bit. Champion George Prince, who I actually do not have guessed that's this dude. Uh, so yes, I think this is a Caribbean Cola. And I apologize if I'm wrong. Like, the website, because it's from a company called Kawy, uh, C-A-W-Y, I looked up the information and they listed it. They're like, it's... Truly Caribbean, so I'm going with there. It's a Caribbean cola, but I believe, I mean, it's made in Florida. So, and they list it as being a fruit cola. So I'm guessing this is probably going to be sort of like a cola champagne kind of thing. Let's find out together. I don't think I've ever had this one before. Maybe, but I definitely haven't reviewed it, so. And I am thirsty, so. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a cola champagne. All right, let's give it a go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I've reviewed a couple sort of cola champagne things. They tend to be, emphasis on tend, tend to be more sort of like a south of the border kind of thing from, you know... The United States, uh, you know, Mexico and uh, Peru and stuff like that tend to be big on the, the cola champagnes. If you've never had, like, a cola champagne, it's, I mean, like they, you know, like the Kui or whatever the hell it was, Kai, like they stayed on their website. It's, you know, sort of a cola, but then, like, infused with, like, fruit flavors. I guess it's supposed to be tropical flavors. To me, it's always sort of tasted like a mix between, like, a cola and then sort of like a bubblegum soda. That's usually what I get from it. Now, the thing is, I'm a little bit here or there on the cola champagne stuff. It really is brand to brand for me. I don't think I actively dislike any of them. But some of them, they don't really work with my palate too much. They're just a bit too punchy, I guess. And I just, I don't know. Something about it doesn't quite jive. Other ones are a little bit more subdued. They're a little bit more... I can kind of work with them. Where does Champs Cola fall into things with Champion George Prince? 
I'm going to say this is actually on the better side of the ones that I've had. Uh, this one actually has a little bit more of a cola flavor than the sort of bubblegum fruity flavor that I'm used to from the, the cola champagnes. So for me, for my palate, it's a little bit easier to kind of go with. So I actually don't mind this at all. It's pretty good. Like it doesn't, because like I said, it's, it's the ones where like that sort of fruity bubblegum flavor, like when it's just too punchy, it almost becomes like obnoxious, you know, it's like overly sweet. With this one, still has a little bit of that cola flavor. And then, you know, yeah, it does have that bubblegum kind of fruitiness to it. But yeah. This one, you can still tell that there's kind of a cola as a base, which I can work with. Uh, it's not bad. It's smooth. It doesn't have any, like, weird aftertaste or anything like that. Again, it does have the very sort of bubblegummy taste to it. Um, that could be yay or nay for you. For me, personally, it's... <laughs> I'll occasionally drink a bubblegum soda, but it's not a go-to for me. More when I was younger. When I was younger, I could kind of get away with it a little bit more. Now that I'm older, it's just a little bit too much for me. But, again, I think that if it's done in the right proportions, you know, it can still work nicely. And, uh, like, a, a good example would be uh, there's a soda out of Texas called Big Red. And that has kind of a bubblegum sort of taste to it, too. Albeit different than, like, the cola champagne stuff. Uh, excuse me. But this one, this one I'm pretty okay with. Like, I would, again, I would say out of the cola champagnes that I've had, this one, because it is a little bit closer to kind of what I'm used to as a, as a cola, I can get behind this one. I actually think this one is pretty solid. And while that might not be an outright ringing endorsement, it doesn't, you know, I mean, two, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Um, every so often, and sure, with a little bit of an asterisk. So for me personally, it's not a usual thing that I go in for a cola champagne. But there have been brands that I've found that I'm, you know, somewhat partial to. And so every now and again, I will pick one up. Uh, also, a lot of times, because like I got this at a uh, little Cuban slash Puerto Rican restaurant. It was, you know, they had a freezer full of them. And, I mean, it's a thing where like, yeah, if I were in that setting... I would probably pick one up again. If I were, like, going to, like, my local, like, Mexican supermarket or something like that, every now and again. You know, it wouldn't be a go-to, but it is a good drink. Like, I don't have any huge gripes with it. It's just, the again, the cola champagne stuff is very particular for me. But this one works pretty well overall. If I'm recommending it, I think if you've never had a cola champagne, this might be one of the ones actually to go in for it. Because it is, again, a little bit closer to a traditional Western cola. And I think that, you know, it, it might, again, might be a little bit of a way to sort of ease yourself into it compared to some of the other brands. Now that said, there is an asterisk involved, and that is that, again, cola champagne is definitely, it's kind of an acquired taste. Um, it's not, again, it's not bad or anything like that, but it's very particular. And you gotta go in with it if you're gonna go in with it. And if you're not gonna go in with this one, you're not probably not gonna go in with any of the others. But doesn't mean you shouldn't give them a shot. Five things for a guy here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, rest of your folks. Go over there, have yourselves a truly champion tastic rest of your life with champion George Prince. Champion of what? I have no idea. Final two things. Number one. Try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do, if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Folks, I am full of... <laughs> went to a place, or like I said, I went to a Cuban slash Puerto Rican place called Macho's Cafe. I went over there. Man... 
I had some empanadas, a Cubano sandwich. I had a, it was, what the hell is it called? Uh, Hiburrito con arroz y gandules, something like that. Which is like a steak sandwich made out of pl with plantains and stuff. And now I'm doing this. I'm so full. I'm going to go inside take a huge nap. But it's important when we run into situations in our lives that are stressful, frustrating, etc. <sighs> take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe... Maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to start your own food YouTube show, as I've done here, right? And maybe you're going to go over there and you're going to make wiser decisions than I do. Instead of going over there and being like, I'm just going to go and stuff myself until I feel like I want to die. <laughs> that would be the better way to do that. But to be fair, yesterday I didn't go out and eat anything. Like, I was just, I stuck around at home, made some ramen, you know. Just kind of chilled out. So today I was like, I want to go out, man. I want to treat myself. So have some delicious Cuban slash Puerto Rican food and some champion cola. Bye!